let me give you uh, to all of the, all of your men that are watching this podcast. I uh, I was speaking in Katy, Texas, at a big men's event, an outdoor men's event. That's right outside of Houston, and they had men from all over the world there. And I had studied this this idea of the Father's blessing, mm -hmm. and uh, and the more I studied that, the more I realized that this was so foundational to to our faith. And uh, it's, it's like uh, Jacob, when he called his, his grandsons before before he died, you know, and blessed them. And uh, I thought, you know, this is a, this is a problem because I never heard a sermon about this. This is a problem. So I said, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these men come to the altar and I'm going to have them bless their sons. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have these men lay their hands on their sons. See, I can ask for a blessing for you remotely. I can I can say, Father, would you bless Chip right now? And I believe that God will honor that. But I want to bless you. Yeah. In his name. Yeah. I got to go up there and lay my hands on you. Right. Yeah, I'm not a touchy feely guy, but I want to go up and lay my hands on you. I want you to feel my presence. And I I bless you in the name of Jesus Christ as I put my hands on you. Well, I I said you men up here, you come come up here and bring your sons up here to, to this stage, and I want you to pray a blessing over them. Put your hands on them and pray a blessing over them. And then I said, I regret that my father never blessed me. Mm -hmm. He came to Christ late in life, but when he did, he was a fanatic. But he never, he didn't know he was supposed to bless me. Sure. And now that I understand it, I, I regret that my father never blessed me. As the men were coming forward, I saw a, a black man coming, a real stocky black man coming out of the crowd, you know, kind of working his way through the crowd. And I, I watched him and I, I could tell by his countenance, he meant me no harm. But he came up to me and he said, I'm Pastor Charles Flowers. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. He said, if you'll let me, I'll bless you on behalf of your deceased father. He laid his hands on me and began to bless me. Yeah. I'm telling you, spiritually, it was one of the most meaningful things that anybody had ever done for right. me. From that point on, I said, I'll never leave a men's conference that I don't give these men an opportunity to be blessed by a man of authority.